I get the question all the time, Andres, if you had to start over, what business model would you choose? And I think the answer is you shouldn't start a business. You see, in my journey as a 16 year old, I've scaled an agency to $36,000 a month. I've scaled a software company to 600 users and had it all fail and go right back down to zero. And I asked myself why? And there was a simple answer and it's not a shiny one and it's probably gonna be the reason you click off this video but it was honestly just I didn't have the skill. And once this hit me, it only took me two months to get my life right back to where it is now where I'm able to hang out with seven, eight figure entrepreneurs. I'm able to travel the world, go on vacations, visit sick places, meet cool people and most of all, enjoy every bit of it. So what is it that I actually do? Well, right when my agency failed, because my identity was as an entrepreneur, that like tore me apart. And I was sad, I was lost, I, I felt hopeless, all of it. But I realized fundamentally, a business is just using a skill set to solve a problem for a specific group of people. And this put me into researching mode and it had me figuring out like, what do all the most successful people who have not only created wealth for themselves, but maintained it across their entire lifetime, what do they all have in common? And it's that they all studied under a master and all perfected the skill set of sales because nowadays people that are that work for somebody else are looked down upon they're called like oh you're in the matrix but i think the matrix actually comes from an intention you see because like if you're working a nine to five with the intention of oh i want to be safe i want to have comfort i'm going to stay here with my paycheck and i'm going to be all happy then yeah then you're in the matrix but if you're working underneath somebody else as an investment into your future self as dealing with one year of shit so that the next 10 years can be way more more profitable, that's where you get the real outcome from it. And that's not being in the matrix. That's just being smart. You're working underneath somebody to perfect a skill set. And that's in addition to all the people you can meet. And like, if you showcase your value to an eight or nine figure entrepreneur and they see how good you are, just the network you can build off that will allow you to build your entire business or whatever you want to do after that position and will make you way more successful in life. And people say, oh, if you want to learn, just just buy a course or buy a program. But the truth is, if a guru or a entrepreneur depends on you to make money, the level of intensity of them making sure that you're successful, which by being successful, you're also perfecting the skill set, the level of intensity that they have to put in to make sure that you're actually achieving that is way higher because they care about your success a lot more than somebody who's just buying their course because their success is reliant on your success. So about seven weeks ago, I decided to leave every everything that I built behind. And I went to work underneath someone who could teach me more about the skill set that I chose, which was sales. So I went to work for a guru named Dylan Wilson, selling an agency coaching program. In the first month, I bombed. Just kidding. I was a top closer. I was closing at 78%. Um, did 1.5x the amount of revenue of any of the other closers, even though I was only selling on the weekends and they were all full time. And I ended that first month doing $92,000 in revenue. So it, it was a pretty solid first month. And on the surface, I was making all the money, I was traveling, I was hanging out, having the time of my life. But underneath the surface, the reality was I was bombing. And not bombing because of the money I was making, but because if the entire point of this entire journey was just to perfect this skill, so it could be an asset for me for the rest of my life. And in that organization, I was the top closer immediately and I wasn't really learning anything, then I consider that a failure. And so that brings me to the next massive lesson in this journey. And it's that never take the open goal. Because too many people, they try to take the easy way out. And in this scenario, the easy way out is the agency, the $10,000, $20,000, $30,000 a month agency. That is the easy way out. But if you want to have a real impact and you want to not just make 10, 20, 30K, but make billions, you need to have a skill set. You need to master it and have a network and, and do all those things that most people aren't willing to. Because the 10, the 20, the 30K a month from the agency is just a shiny object at the top. Just like Alex Ramosi says, you need to eat enough shit to build a big enough foundation to hold the skyscraper of the empire of a business that you're trying to build. Because that's how you have real impact on tons of lives. That's how you do stuff and leave a legacy behind that other people just aren't capable of doing. And so four weeks ago, I decided to quit my comfort. I decided I'm just going to spend all the money I have and put myself in a position where I have to make it happen again. And so I started investing all the money I had into coaching, consulting, mentoring from people like Anas Daoud, who's now one of my mentors. Tours. He ran a sales organization doing $2 billion a year. Great guy. Highly recommend him. And then another example, Jeremy Miner. I went to his event, um, bought Inner Circle, and I, I even got to hang out with him. He came over to my Airbnb, played pickleball for a little bit. So it was a great time. And so I was really just 
investing all this money into myself, not even with the purpose of perfecting the skill, but with the purpose of being congruent. Because at the end of the day, one of the biggest mistakes that people make is that they try to convince their prospects to pay the money. They try to handle the price objection, handle whatever objection, when they haven't even done it for themselves. And it's the law of the mirror. And so you can't expect to be able to convince your prospect to pay you money when you haven't even invested into yourself. And so having that congruency allows you to have like a different level of just like energy and people can feel that. That's one of the things that has allowed me to have so much success since then. And then even on top of that, I got tickets to Bali and I'm going for there for three weeks just to like sit down, lock in and just learn. But so that brings us back to the question, what am I actually doing now and how can you get into it? So as I mentioned a while back, buying a course, buying a program, it's not the same if you wanna learn as actually working underneath somebody where they rely on you to make money because you learn a lot more. And so I realized I had to go back and do that. And so four weeks ago, I was hanging out with Tony and Jeremy Miner in Scottsdale and Tony and Matt Shields came to me with a proposition. They went to start an inner circle, but an inner circle coaching program that would actually help people as opposed to just being focused on maximizing profit and we wanted to ultimately our mission was to change the way internet marketing is perceived and so we decided to cap it at a hundred people have in-person retreats and donate like a big part of our profit to charity so literally for every one person that joins the inner circle we sponsor two kids in a third world country to eat for an entire year, which completely ruins our margins. But at the end of the day, it allows us to push forward with our ultimate mission, which is like help people and change the way that this industry is perceived as a whole. So what I get the pleasure of being able to do now is perfect my skill set while knowing every time I'm sitting across from somebody else on a sales call, knowing that I can't only change their life in front of me, but I can change the lives of two people across the world who have never even met before, while at the same time being able to network network and work underneath people like Matt Shields and Josh Rivera and Tony Lee to expand my network and ultimately grow as a person, setting me up for success later in life. So how can you get into sales and start working under a seven, eight, nine figure entrepreneur, mastering a skill set, and ultimately being able to create more abundance in your life? And the secret is honestly just like you have to try. In my network of seven, eight figure entrepreneurs, literally like 75% of them, of these successful business owners are looking for good salespeople. And good not in terms of like how their closing percentage or anything like that, but literally just hardworking people. So there's two easy steps I would take if I was either starting in sales or trying to transition into sales and get on an offer as fast as possible. And number one, it's to make a good video intro of yourself. Because if you can't sell yourself, how the hell are you gonna sell a prospect? And so the way I would go about this is really Really just think about like what are the skill sets you have like what do you take pride in about yourself and so for me it's like I'm a hard working like I, I stop at nothing to achieve success I'm talented I'm willing to invest in myself to ultimately grow and so once you take these all you have to do is think about an example a story of when you've applied these principles and so like for me for example I could say I paid a mentor which shows I like to invest I like to grow in my skill set that I can give an example of me being very hard working where even though I was in school I was spending like 10, 12 hours a day in school and in the commute back and forth, I was still dedicating every last minute of the rest of my time into my business, into my agency back when I was running it and now into sales. And so that's a story that shows an example of that skill set. And if I pitch myself in that way, where I'm giving proof of my good characteristics, it makes it way easier for somebody to not only trust me, but ultimately hire me. And number two, you have to reach out to these people. So find people in your industry, it could be on Instagram, Facebook, whatever platform you like and people who are selling like a course or some kind of high ticket service or product. And first of all, just send them a simple message to get them to reply. And then once they've done that, just ask if you can shoot over your video resume and kind of give them a little bit of context about what you're really looking for. And if they say yes, just send them the video resume. And if that's good, I promise you, you will at least get a few interviews lined up. And then if you're hardworking and you can show that on those interviews, you will get hired. It's literally as simple as that. And I'm not gonna write a script. Just don't be an idiot. Y'all got it. Y'all can figure it out. And DM me on Instagram if you want to join the inner circle. Link in the description.